In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the size of the font that are in drop down lists so that they're, you're able to read them in Excel. So in many worksheets with a lot of data in them, you have uh, you have them reduced so that you can see all the data. Now, this isn't that big of a sheet, but let, let's assume and you I have this reduced to 60 percent and basically um, you can barely see what the letters are a little alone if you're trying to select something from a drop down list. Now I have this set up so that if I click the drop down list for so I have uh, employee names here, for example, and I click the drop down list and then select a different one. So it's a change in the C sheet, then all of a sudden the sheet turns to be extremely readable. It goes to 150% from 60% zoom. And so now I am able to look at the names on the list and pick out the one that I want. And um, they are they're visible. Now, to get it back to the 60% that I need, I need to make a change on the sheet. Either I put, put a one in here or I change one of the other values. But um, as long as uh, as as long as I make a change on the sheet, and you're probably entering data any anywhere in there, it will go back to the 60%. So now let me show you how I did this. I did, of course, make the drop down list by going by uh, selecting the cell, and then I went to the data tab. Okay, I did. I made this by going to the data tab, and then I went to data validation. And I have the cell selected to start with, and I go to data validation, and then I go uh, data validation, and I select list, and then it, it asks me where my list is from, and my list is on sheet two, and so I select this arrow so it hides this box, and then I go to sheet two, and those are the numbers that I selected, and that is how I did this, and I went like this, and then I say okay. Now, how I... Um, how I have it increase every time I change this list is I right clicked on the sheet and went view code and that's where my code is inserted and so now let's look at the code so I say private sub worksheet by change so when I change a value and um, so I say active uh, dim keys uh, key cells as range active window dot zoom equals 60 so normally it's 60 and then I'm going to say set set or uh, set key cells equals range a2 to a3 now I'm showing you that you can have several of them if you wanted to do for example your drop downs all the way across you could certainly do that you could put a range in of cells that if they're changing then you're going to increase the size okay so then what we're going to do if not application intersect so if it's not that key cells range target address is nothing active window zoom equals 150 so once you change that it's 150 else if it's not if you make a change somewhere else in the sheet besides a2 and a3 then the active zoom window goes to 60. Uh, and then there's an end if and an end sub so that is how you can increase the size of the font on so that is how you can increase the size of the font on drop down lists so that they're visible for you to make selections in the drop down lists and all you have to do is install install this code on your worksheet and it will work for you please subscribe